Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a makeup application. As you can see, I have no makeup on. I am going to be trying. It's this girl on TikTok. Her name is Mira Duxbury, I believe. Duxbury. Um, she has sort of this foundation technique and it's a lot of makeup. Um, she is younger than I am. I am 41, going to be 42 in July. So in some ways, this probably wouldn't always be the ideal makeup for someone my age, just because I have creases and a bit of wrinkles, you know, and all that. Just because the makeup can settle in the lines, but we're gonna, I did it the other day and I, I'm gonna be honest, I was pleasantly surprised, but I will say this, it was a lot of makeup. It was a lot of makeup that do I think necessarily doing it this way is ideal? No, it works for her. Like I, I think however you decide to apply your makeup, if it works for you and you look good and you feel good and blah, 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 then you should do it that way. Um, I will say this, this is her job. So she probably gets a ton of makeup for free so she can like um, waste it. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to be like, I don't want to say she's wasting it, but I, I feel myself to apply it this way is a big waste, but it is what it is. So we are going to jump in and do this. Um, and we are going to start with cover FX. I am going to do the blurring primer because we're going to try to blur some of the aging that's in here. So she did usually her primer is a bit of a lotion, but I'm just going to go. And I'm going to tell you now, there's going to be a lot of like hands applying stuff. Um, yeah. She basically does 10 pumps of foundation. She, I believe she mixes two. That's what I'm going to do today. And um, she mixes it up on her hand and then she applies it and rubs it in with her hands. So now we are going to do the foundation bit. Um, yeah. So I am going to do L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum. It's got pro etanol plus vitamin C in it. And this is roughly how she did it. She does it on the back of her hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To me, that's already a lot. Now I will say this because a lot of times she's going to things and she loves a full glam makeup look. Um, I like a full glam makeup look, but it's not ideal because like for me to go to the grocery store with full glam makeup, it's like, you know, so like if you're going out in that, that's great. I've seen other people try it and they really love it. Some people weren't as ideal, but so now we're going to go one, two, three. And this is Cover Girl with Ole Simply Ageless because like I said, I'm a bit oldy. And we're going to mix, mix, mix. And she just sort of like lathered it on a bit. See, I have a lot of lines on my forehead, but okay, we're going to go in. We're going to do it. This is exactly how she does it. She rubs it right in and she does warn like to watch that you don't get it in your hair. So we're going to go in the eyes, in the corners, rub in. See, this is where I'm like, is this going to break the makeup down? But I'm telling you, I did it Thursday or Friday last week. I can't really remember and um it didn't turn yellow or anything and so my theory is probably could be wrong but also that was like from years ago when makeup's quite advanced now and formulas and everything we're gonna put some around my ear because i have red ears so this is basically what she does guys and now you just sort of go in and blend in <laughs> As best you can this is where I find a blender is really good for the hairline and everything and just dab in so some of this with this much makeup on it's gonna go into your so I think this is just a good way that she can get it full coverage like this is a full full coverage um, full glam makeup look and yeah so we're just gonna I like to bring it down on my neck Right now, it looks like a nice clean base, which is nice. So we're just gonna get under the eyes here because this is where it's gonna crease for me. 
Now we're gonna go in with some cover up. I like to go in the middles. Realistically, how you apply your makeup in that, do it how you want. Like people will say like where to apply the concealer and do it in triangles and all that. At the end of the day, you're gonna end up blending it. So if you can blend it, you can blend anything to make it look good. So even if you have like too much in one thing, just blend it out with your wet spoolie there. And, and now we're gonna do, she calls herself the blending cream. She's very pretty, gorgeous, um, young. And yeah, so we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Now we're gonna go in with some like contouring and like, so this is the contouring stick from Wet n Wild and she really goes in. So we're just like, we're gonna cake her on there. Like, like I said, do it messy if you want. Because at the end of the day, the truth is, is at the end of the day, you're blending it. So just, I wouldn't bring it any lower, but so now let's blend. So I take the bottom and blend. Dab, dab, dab. This, I find once you do the contouring, it's when your face starts to really take like you can start to see the process being made, like, cause it's a process. And this is where, so we'll do it in a minute, but for me, that's like too much and that is my fault, but I would just go back in with where I had the concealer and the foundation and tap and see, just blended it. So she did use a liquid um, blush, but I don't have like, like I have more of a cream stick. This is from Milk and this is Stardust. It is their holographic stick, but we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna really load it. Like she, when she put it on, like she wasn't like really sparse when she put any of her makeup on, she loaded her makeup on. And now all the kids are doing this where they're putting a bit, I don't know what that's about. We'll do it. I'm also gonna just because this went down a little bit further than I would have liked. So I'm gonna go like that. And then we're just gonna blend again. So it's easy enough to fix that. Go up there. And we're gonna dab a bit on. So then we'll, the nice thing with that stick, I didn't have to blend too much, it sort of did it for me. So now we are going to, now we're gonna do the powder portion. So this is the Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder. We're gonna go in under the eyes. Dab, dab, dab in there. I will probably take it up here just because I have creases and lines in my forehead. So we want to set that there as well. And I will put some down there and just right in there. And we're going to dab some. So I look pretty, like this looks pretty smooth and all that. I'm just gonna take a mirror. So it does look pretty smooth. Now when I'm up close, you can obviously see wrinkles and texture, but I'm gonna tell you guys something. Skin has like texture in it. Even if you're young, you still have texture in your skin. So don't like it when you see something on Instagram or whatever and you're like, it looks so smooth. Well, you're taking a picture, you're not up close examining their skin. If you were, you would see pores, wrinkles, all that fun stuff. So 
Now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. This is a bronzer I got for five bucks. This is from Annabella. I got it five bucks from Shoppers the other day and it's per the perfect butter bronzer. It's really nice because it's not too like shimmery or whatever. It's like a borderline of a matte, but there's like a little bit, but, and this is an awesome bronzer brush. It's one of my favorites now. And I just like to tap in there and we're gonna go up. We're gonna go down. Once again, I'm not gonna panic too much because I'm gonna tell you what, I have a blending brush. I live for my blending. My blending brush is like my favorite thing. It's from Am It's from Elf. I like to just sculpt the sides and tap. There we go. And I am gonna blend a bit just cause I did load that brush too much. And I just lightly go in and blend. I don't like pressure to the skin cause you're just gonna like move the foundation and any other layers of makeup around and then you're gonna get a bit of pilling. And then I'm gonna go back in, just tap. there and then now we're going to do blush I'm going to use NARS orgasm blush this is a very popular blush it's good like anyone can pretty much use this one and we'll just go in we'll load it up so she layers so like she'll do like a cream or yeah cream like contour and bronzer and then blush and all that and then she'll layer it with a powdered that's so this is definitely like where it comes in that it's full because the more like makeup you, like more of the illusion your skin looks like, but. And I am going really heavy with everything today. One, I don't know why I'm doing that. And two, it's probably better because you can see how I can like the transition. Now I'm looking at this and I don't. There we go. So you can always, don't panic, like, if you feel you've messed up or there's too much of something because it's easy to, like, really take care of it, so. Blend that in. Let me go back in a bit and tap. So this is where we're at. And now we're going to do a highlighter. And I'm going to do the Fenty highlighter, Fenty Beauty. This is a dual one. It's Mean Money with Hustle Baby. Oh, did you see that? That would like give me a heart attack. That's it. So I am actually going to go with the more muted, like not, it's a little bit more subtle, that highlighter. And then I'll go back with the other highlighter and go in the corners of my eyes when it's time. But I'm just going to. Now I'm going to dodge out and just do my eyes in that quickly because we're not really focused on the eyes. It was more like the actual face makeup today. And yeah, so we are back. I got my eyes all done and um, I just put some white on my eye waterline because it really helps pop that look. But um, if you guys are interested to see how I do do my eyes, like what I like to do, let me know. Comment down below. I'd love to show we could do one just about eyes. So um, I just wanted to go back to this where I said that um, I would go back with like the more shimmier shiner highlight, shiny highlight. So this one would be Hustle Baby from Fenty Beauty. And I just like to go into the corner of my eyes and just like that because it helps pop it. And then I will take the brush I used to highlight and the actual highlight that I used on my cheeks in that and I will nor I will like go in there. And usually I do that before I've done mascara so the powder doesn't end up sitting on your mascara and give you like that chunky, like it just takes away from the mascara. It's no good. Just FYI, I'm still using this. The telescopic lift from L'Oreal. And now this is where I will Usually before I do mascara, I will put a setting spray on and today I'm doing Insta Ready from, this is from Physicians Formula and it's setting spray. 
Like I said, normally I would do it before mascara just so it doesn't get my mascara wet and it bleeds everywhere. So here's hoping. And we let it set in and then I would do my mascara, but I've already done mascara. So we're gonna go in and, oh, who knows? My nose is itchy. I think that means something, but I don't know. I am gonna put my lipstick on and this is from Dominique. Does it say this is a lip liner and it is in the shade Crush. So it's just like a nude lip. I'm just gonna go in quick and do it. Nothing too fancy. We kept it quite simple today. And then I'm gonna use one of my new favorite lipsticks. Guys, that rum raisin last week that I tried from Revlon, it's their lustrous lipstick, super lux lustrous lipstick. I went back and got, um, this one's called Bear Affair number, it's a cream, Revlon super lustrous lipstick, Bear Affair number 44. It's a nude lipstick, like how many more nude lipsticks? But I'm gonna tell you something, it's really beautiful. I wanna go buy and go and buy them all. That would just be ridiculous. Just a fun, nice lip. So now I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna come back and give you more of a close up and give you my thoughts. So here we are guys, up close. See, there is texture in my skin cause skin has texture. But overall, I do really love the look. Um, I kept a very natural, neutral makeup tones today just so we could see focus, focus more on like the actual face makeup um do I think it's necessarily do I think it's necessary to apply the way uh, Meredith does it works for her she's happy with it if you like doing it that way that's great I myself I do like how it's quick that you just get it all on your face and you get it right in there um I do feel like in some ways it's a waste and not in some ways it is like a lot a waste of foundation when you could just like keep layering whereas like going in with that um because you're using a sponge anyway so I feel like the excess gets absorbed into the sponge when you could have just gradually layered it to get the more of the coverage that you're looking for anyway so and I think the key is definitely having a good sponge and blending 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 and if you need to after you have your powder like um pet her face makeup and that on. You can blend with a good blending brush, like I said. And I do, that's one thing I do love, the way she does it, like where she'll do like a cream contour bronzer and then go over top with a powder, same with your blush. That's the way I like to do it. I just feel like you do get like that more flawless makeup look and it's more glam. So um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Meredith. It looks pretty nice. But like I said, apply how makes you happy, whatever looks good. Do you go? And I tried it, not saying I wouldn't do it again. I probably will if I was going somewhere special, but where the hell am I going? So with that guys, thanks for watching. Let me know down below if there's anything you'd like to see from me. And until then, have a great week.